Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a spider statue. It's going to be very easy. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You'll need some never brick, some red wool, you'll need black wool, dark grey, and finally, light grey wool. That's right, you'll only be needing those five colours, so once you have those, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here. You're going to want to start this off by doing a row of six never brick coming directly up from the floor. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you have your row of six never brick, this is what you want to do next. Throw a single dark grey wool on top of that sixth block. Then go right of that dark grey wool with this little sequence of blocks. Do one light grey, one black, two dark grey, one black, one light grey, and finally one dark grey to give you something which should look a little bit like this. And what you're looking at is actually the first row of a spider's face. So once you've completed that, you can actually just delete those six never brick. Those were just placeholder blocks. We don't actually need those. So once you have this, this is what you want to do next. And we're just going to be building directly on top of this first row here. We're going to make the entire face first. So the second row of the face is actually identical to the first row. So you can just copy the first row completely like this. What you want to do for the third row, however, is just an entire row of dark grey wool. Then, for the fourth row, you want to do this, going from left to right, do this little sequence of blocks, do two dark grey, one never brick, one red wool, one never brick, one red wool, and then finally, two dark grey. For the next row, again going from left to right, do this little combination of blocks. Do one never brick, one dark grey, one red, one never brick, one red, one never brick, one dark grey, finally one never brick. For the next row, throw a single red wool on the ends of the row and then throw dark grey everywhere in between. For the next row, do two dark grey in the two center spots of the row, throw a single red either side of that dark grey, and then do dark grey everywhere else. For the eighth and final row of a head, do this. Do a single dark grey on the ends of the row, do a red next to that dark grey coming in towards the center, and then throw dark grey everywhere in between to give you something which should look exactly like this. And that ladies and gentlemen, is the entirety of a spider's face. So, as always, pause this if necessary if you're still working on that, of course. However, once you've taken care of that, we can take care of the rest of the head. So, come towards the left-hand side of your face, and come down to this bottom block of the face right here, this dark grey. Going left of your dark grey, so towards the where the back of our spider is going to be that way, you want to do one dark grey followed by one black wall. Then, do a single black wall on top of that black wall and dark grey, so you have two black wall next to each other. On top of this left black wall, place a light grey. On top of the right one, place a black. So you just want to have that P shape right there. What you then want to do, once you have your P shape, is come back down to this black block on the bottom row and go left of it with your dark grey by five. So one, two, three, four, five. So you just want to have something which should look like this. And once you've done this to the bottom row, you actually want to come up to the top corner of your head now, and you just want to do a row of seven dark grey coming towards the back of your head. So you just want a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just connect that seventh block to the ever so slightly lower low of dark grey there. So you just have a square shape like this. And once you've done this on the left hand side of your head, you actually want to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the right hand side here. And if you guys can see what I'm looking at on your screen, all you have to do to complete this side is just look directly forward at what you've already completed and just do the exact same thing. So I don't even need to give you guys instructions, just copy exactly what you've already done. Just have a look directly forward at the other side of your head 
make your p-shape and then just do the several lines of dark gray and make a big square box very simple indeed and once you have this square box on the other side of your head p included or i suppose it's a q on this side q included what you then want to do is just connect both sides of the head together from the top block and the bottom block so you just want to make a nice big q shape like this q shape cube shape is what i meant to say q shape i'm going insane once you've got your cube shape, this is what you want to do next. So, come towards the back of the head, and you want to take out your black wall, and what you essentially want to do is a smaller black square inside the ever so slightly larger dark grey square that you have on the back of the head, so you just want to have this. What you want to do once you have your little black square is this, take each one of the four corners and do four rows of seven black wool coming towards the back of your statue so like this one two three four five six seven uh one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and then what you want to do once you have your four rows of seven is just connect all of those four rows together like this so you just want to make a big black rectangle now and once you have your black rectangle this is what you want to do next take out your dark gray wall and go around this side of your rectangle like the back face of your rectangle just take out your dark gray and go all the way around it like this so you just want to essentially do a larger dark gray rectangle around the ever so slightly smaller black rectangle like that and what you want to do once you've accomplished that is this. You just want to add an extra row onto the left and right hand sides of your dark grey rectangle. So the body part of your spider just wants to be one block wider on each side than your spider's head. So you just want to have this. And what you want to do once you've accomplished that is this. Take each one of the four corners of your big dark grey rectangle and do four rows of 11 coming towards the back of your spider. So this way. So four rows of 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then what you want to do is just connect those 11th blocks together all the way around. So you've formed a pretty large dark grey rectangle on the back of your spider. So what you want to have so far is something that should look a little bit like this. It's actually looking a little more like an ant than a spider at the moment, but don't worry, that's going to change. And once you have, well, exactly this, what we're looking at, this is what you want to do next, and the sun could not have went down at a more perfect time. So all we have to do now is just fill the entire head sections in with dark grey, the entire middle body section in with black wool, and the entire back body section in with dark grey wool. This is going to take a little bit of time. I'll be back once I've accomplished all of those things, and then we can move on to the legs. So as you guys may be able to tell, I have completely finished filling in all three of those sections, and once you have yourself, as always, pauses if necessary of course, once you have yourself, this is what you want to do next. Come over to the left hand side of your spider and come to the black, is this a square or is it a rectangle? Ah, who cares? Come over to this black square shape here. You essentially want to do this, this is, this is kind of difficult to explain but it's actually really really simple. So take out your dark grey and you want to do this, we'll start by doing the legs the two middle legs. So, starting from these two middle black blocks of your six, this is what you want to do. I'm going to do this slowly so you can see what I mean because I, I, I won't be able to explain it. So, you want to do this. You start off by placing those four dark grey blocks. Then you place four more in front of them. Like that. You can see that that back leg's kind of melded into the back of the body. That's okay. This is what you want to do next. On the outer of the four blocks underneath the two bottom blocks you want to place two more and then you want to do like another layer of square except one row down so you just want to do this to show you from the front 
And you want to keep carrying on this pattern until you eventually reach the floor. I'll do a couple more links in the chain and then I'll show you the front. There you go. So you just want to do this. You want to keep carrying on that pattern and you just want to keep repeating this until eventually you hit the floor with the legs. So you guys should have gotten the point by now. So I'm just going to finish this leg off. It's essentially, you're just doing, um, you're just doing squares and squares of dark grey wool that are kind of like connected to each other diagonally until eventually you hit the floor. It's really, really simple. And once you have your line of diagonal, like dark grey cubes or squares or whatever you want to call it, this is what you want to do. You want to start from coming back up to the top. You want to start with the second dark grey cube and then you just want to knock out those blocks and replace them with black blocks like this and then you want to miss two cubes and you want to come down and you want to do the same thing so you just want to do this just replace your dark gray with black wool like that and you just want to do this one more time as well so coming back down to the second black miss two destroy those two blocks replace them with black easy as that so the leg wants to look exactly like this it's really simple like i said let's do the other leg now shall we so the other leg is positioned right here it's in the exact same spot except it's like shuffled over like four places to the right it's right at the front of the body and you just want to do the exact same thing so you start off with your square then you do another square in front and then you just continue to do squares that are basically diagonal to each other that will eventually hit the floor. I'm doing this one a little bit faster since you guys have already seen this. Um, it's not too complicated. I think it's really easy to see what I've done once you uh, take a look at it from the front. But um, all that matters is the initial positioning and I'm sure that you guys will get it. As you can see, it starts there parallel to the back leg. And just to show you guys the front view, there you go, it's really, really simple. And once you have your second leg in place, you just want to do the exact same thing with your black wool. And assuming that you managed to do it on the first leg, you can just uh, copy it off of the first leg where you want to position the black wool. However, you do start on the second, second uh, dark grey square from the top, and then you just miss two coming down. So you just want to have something which should look exactly like this. And once you've added those two legs to the left hand side, you want to go ahead and add the other two legs to the right hand side. So coming over to the right hand side here, doing exactly what we did on the left hand side, starting with these four blocks here, you take out your dark grey, you do your square, do another square in front, and then you just do your... You do your dark grey cubes just tapering down all the way until you hit the floor. Um, I'd take this a little slower, but we've done it twice, and honestly, I think it's really simple. I'm sure that you guys get exactly what you're supposed to do. I'll just show you what this should look like again once... Um, have I done that wrong? No. Once I eventually hit the floor with this. There we go. So, there you go. As you can see, the leg exactly the same as on the opposite side. All we have to do now is just add in the black wall, which starts with here. Replace those two. Then we miss two coming down. Add in the black. Like this. Oh, did that wrong. I only missed one. Let me just uh, fix that. So, you just want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. That is that third leg taken care of. Pause this if necessary if you're still working on that, of course. Let's move on to the fourth leg, shall we? So again here, just parallel to where that back leg is, you just want to do the exact same thing. We've done this three times now, so we've just got to taper down the squares. Eventually we'll hit the floor and then we've just got to add our black wool in. And once we've taken care of these legs, we can go ahead and do the final four legs, which are... A little bit trickier, but they're actually, um, they're not, they're not too hard. Um, let me see here. There we go. So this is the front right leg. Very simple. Let's finish this off now. So we just have to add in the black wall, which is here. Miss two. 
here, miss two, and here. So you just want to end up with something that should look exactly like this, identical to the three other legs. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've taken care of those first four initial legs, all we have to do now are the other four. And these ones are, uh, as I said, they're not exactly difficult, but they are a little bit different to the legs that we've just done. So come over to the front left-hand side of your spider. You're looking for this black block right here on the front left-hand leg. Once you've found it, you then want to place a single dark grey wall in front of that block, like this, and then you want to place a dark grey underneath that dark grey. You then want to form this shape around the second dark grey block. I'm going to do this slow. So you just want to form that shape. You then want to do four dark grey blocks underneath those blocks. So you just want to form a cube like this. What you then want to do is just do this underneath the cube. Again, this is kind of hard to describe, so I'm just going to do it. You just want to do this. Is it is it obvious what I'm doing? I hope it is. So you've now made a second cube that is diagonal to the first cube, and you want to do that again. So underneath here, I think this is obvi obvious enough, and you just want to do it one more time. So you've now hit the floor. So you just want to form a shape which should look like this. It's just a load of cubes diagonal to each other. Exactly like the other legs, except it's just positioned differently. And once you have your four diagonal cubes coming out towards the front of your spider, this is what you want to do. We want to add a little bit of black to them. So you just want to, starting from the bottom, you want to change those two strips of dark grey into black, the second cube up, and then you want to do the same thing, missing one and coming up to the top here. You just want to do two strips of black replacing those dark grey walls. So you just want to have something which should look like that. Hopefully you guys can manage to do that easy enough. It's a really easy process. I'm, I just can't explain it, which makes me wonder, you know, whether it's coming across, but I think it's really obvious. So once you've taken care of that first front diagonal leg, it's now time for us to go and do the exact same thing on the back. As always, pause this if necessary, of course, once you're done with that, move your way over to the back. So you want to start by coming to the back here and placing a single dark grey wall underneath this black wall here. Once you've placed your dark grey, throw another dark grey underneath. Then just place dark grey going around that second dark grey wall, like that. Then do four dark grey underneath your original four dark grey. You guys have already done this before, but I'm going to run it down for you again. Once you've formed this cube-like shape here, you then want to just do two dark grey wool coming down from the corner of your cube, and then you just want to build up the shape of another cube, like that. Once you've formed the second cube, you want to do the exact same thing again, and again, and again until you eventually hit the floor. There's actually not too many of them. So you just want to end up with four cubes diagonal to each other coming towards the back of the statue. And once you've done those, we just have to do a very quick color swap with those cubes. So starting with the second cube here, starting from the bottom going up, just uh, swap those two strips of dark gray for black and the same with the top cube as well. So just swap those two strips of dark gray for black wool. So you just want to have something which should look exactly like that. Simple enough. Once you've taken care of those... Well, I forgot how many legs a spider had then. Once you've taken care of those fifth and sixth legs, we now have to take care of number seven and eight on the other side of our statue. So moving over to the other side of our spider, I figure we may as well start with the front diagonal leg first. I figure we may as well do it in the same order as we've just done it on that side over there. So starting this off, you want to start off with your single dark gray placed in front of this black wall. And then you guys know what to do from here. I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to drag this out for you guys. I've, I've done it twice. Um, I've done it pretty slow both times. I'm sure that you guys have, uh, have managed to grasp exactly what you've got to do now. If you guys get the starting point right, 
then um, then I don't think you'll run into too many problems. So we've just got all of the cubes built up there. Let's just throw the black in now, shall we? So we've just got to do this to the second one coming up and the top cube as well, just in those positions right there. So that is leg number seven. Once you guys have taken care of that, it's now time to move on to the eighth and final leg. So coming towards the back, of our spider you want to start this leg just one block underneath this single black wall here with your dark gray so you just want to place one dark gray wall right there and then everything can get kicked off so let's just get this done shall we and then we can take a bit of a look at our spider I did actually have uh, the opportunity to as, as a matter of fact I'll save this until the uh, until the end but um, yeah we've pretty much uh, taken care of our spider we've just got to add the couple of black strips into the legs and there you have it those are the legs 100 percent complete let me let me take the ui off since there really isn't anything to do now so just to show you those legs that is leg number eight as a matter of fact i should probably show you that a little closer that is leg number eight once you've taken care of that i've got some extremely good news for you this tutorial is 100% completely over. There is nothing left for me to show you with your spider statue. It is all done and dusted. Let's take a bit of a 360 degree view, shall we? Let's uh, let's start with the front and work our way around. Yeah, that's that's completely it. It's it's really not too complicated whatsoever. I'd actually I'd actually go as far to say that this is one of the easiest statues that you could do. I mean, you know, if you get past the legs, which are really easy, everything else is just completely simple. It's probably just as easy as, like, the pig or the sheep or... Well, not the chicken, of course, because that's really, really small, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple to do. Um, I did have the option of adding a little bit more detail onto the back section of the spider, but quite honestly, I thought it ruined it. I... F I I tend to go with a bare bones, um, a bare bones approach with these mob statues. To be honest with you, like I could make the pigs and the sheep a lot more detailed, like add some contrast colours in there. But I think it it tends to ruin them. I think it's better to go quite simple. But there you go. That is your spider statue, one hundred percent complete. Hopefully, you guys had an easy enough time making it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.